Welcome. We're going to do some channeling. Um, I've got President Kennedy here, John F. Kennedy, and um, Mother Mary. And um, so I'm excited about this. And we're going to talk a little bit about mass consciousness and the energies going on in the, around the earth and the evolution and the changes. And so I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much. Uh, for all your support and your generosity. Um, thank you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the channeling. And um, first I'm going to um, pull a card just, you know, to get us started a little bit um, from the Grace, one of my favorite card decks, Oracle card decks, the Grace cards. And see if there's anything that we can know, mass consciousness, human beings, all of us that are going to watch this. I pulled two on accident. I've got listen and honor. Listen and honor. When we feel overly attached to the outcomes, it's simply an indication that we need to reconnect with our wise self. Listen. That's pretty wise. In honor, care for your soul. Honor the divinity within you by practicing extreme self-care. Honor. We're going to start with the channeling. I'm hearing greetings. And I, I am honored um, that Mother Mary is here and President Kennedy. So President Kennedy is saying greetings. Um, I have been with you to remind you of the um, great changes and you have some questions. Um, I've had some people ask some questions for President Kennedy if I did another um, channeling of, of John F. Kennedy. And he's saying um, some of the things are true, as we all can see now, um, with our truth, with our eyes wide open, that the world has been um, functioning in ways that we were unaware of. And so all of us are getting awakening after, after awakening after awakening in these ways and seeing that some of the... Um, things that we would call conspiracy theories are kind of just really blatant and happening. And that he says, that's okay. We don't want to focus on that. He says, you did have someone ask me if, if, if ask if, if you spoke to me, if I was cursed, my family was cursed because that all of us, you know, say it's must be a, the Kennedy curse. And he says, um, in a way, yes. So he came here today to, um, to tell about how the curses and the very dark energies that are controlling things are being undone and unwound. And that um, to remind us all that we are sovereign beings and we are, it is our divine right to have all of our rights. And um, we do not consent to the darkness, to the lies, to the pain, to the suffering any longer as we rise up. Um, and Mother Mary is saying, I came today to hold the energy of unconditional love <clears throat> for all of humanity as we unfold and go through stages and waves um, in these next weeks and months as we learn how to build heaven on earth. She's holding her hands out like this and she's saying, um, unconditional love for all. Anyone that wants some um, unconditional love, which we all yearn for, where we're all looking for that within ourselves and outside of ourselves. She's um, sweeping um, this love to us and helping us connect with our hearts, connect to others, our soul tribes, our soul families in unconditional love um, and bringing us closer together so that we can all feel um, supported and safe. I'm feeling um, 
in this time period, she's saying, and I'm feeling this energy um, where she's saying this time period in the, um, the, the heavens, um, there's an energy of mending going on, um, realizations going on, as well as um, just true, it's like weaving in the heaven on earth. She says, like the, it's like the seven sisters, the seven sisters. You're talking about Galactic? Yes, she says, the heavens. Um, she's saying weaving, like weaving a tapestry of life. We get to weave a new tapestry of heaven on earth, co-creating with God now as we knock away the old sufferings and losses and griefs and pains and atrocities. And um, President Kennedy is saying, we see that you have been um, feeling too much and having too much directed at you. Um, and he said, so again, someone asked you if my family was cursed, the Kennedy line, was, were they cursed? And he says, um, it's pretty obvious now that we know it wasn't exactly as it, as it was um, announced. It wasn't exactly what they said in the Kennedy, the Kennedy saga, the Kennedy royalty line here in the United States. And he says, so yes, in a way we were um, targeted under duress. Um, and some of the things that we believe, um, society believes what happened is not at all what happened, and including some good stuff. And he says, I'm not going to um, um, just really exploit my family any further. He says, and um, thank you for the prayers. Um, um, because it was was not always easy to be, um, wasn't easy at all to be a Kennedy. And um, with the, the Illuminati cabal um, energies going on, he says, in that time period when I was assassinated, and it's clear to everyone now that it wasn't how they said on the news. And it, we, it's evolved where we all understand it wasn't just um, Lee Harvey Oswald. It wasn't. It was just a way, way bigger thing. And he um, he was having um, in, at the time of his passing, he was having um, movement toward bringing us into this awakening at that time period. And he says, so it's been planned all along. And he says, so the dark beings. Um, folded over timelines and time periods, folding us in, pushing us down, putting a glass ceiling over humanity so we were blinded and could not see. He's helping me. I, you know, I'm visual, so I'm sorry if I'm moving too much, but it, I'm, he's saying blinded and helping me understand um, as we speak in energy, you know? And he says, so... If that's obvious, then imagine what our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren will say about this time period, the COVID-19 viruses, the pandemic um, quarantines, these things like that. We are going to continue to awaken to more um, unethical, immoral behaviors in the controlling factors. And he says, I want you to remember this. Um... This is just a reminder of that. Every person on the planet knows something's going on and we're evolving and we're having realizations and awakenings and seeing truth in a different way. And he says, I want you to remember that there are very divinely appointed um, people in every um, grouping, every city, every state, every country, every job title, and he says, keep praying for the leaders. This makes such a difference. He says, um, praying for the highest good. He says, that's the key. There's there's like really not much to the laws of the universe. Humanity is is going to catch on. And that's the, that's the key to the heaven on earth. And he says, so yes, the Kennedy family was cursed and targeted. And <clears throat> um, it, we will continue to uncover those things. And he says, but my time on earth has passed. And so your time 
right now is to anchor. And Mother Mary is saying, weave in heaven on earth um, through your every breath and every thought. Um, President Kennedy is saying, so we want to just re-remind you that your thoughts and the energy frequencies that you carry, whether it be anger or, or grief or loss or pain or shame or doubt and confusion, as we do not consent to those, um, or their happiness and joy and pure good intentions for the highest good, healthiness, safety, comfort and support, abundance, freedom, um, every, everything good for all. And he says, um, in this time period, he's mentioning this also. We just went into a Pluto retrograde, which will be going on for, I think, four or five months. And so in this time period, um, many of us will be able to um, reach in to our own shadow or our own depths and mend, heal, forgive, um, come back into wholeness in different ways and pull in some of those fragmented pieces of us. And um, um, he stopped me when I said fragmented pieces. He says he will um, discuss this later. Um, and we come into wholeness in our own divine order, own, um, own cats, own freedom and own sovereignty. So each one of us, again, are sovereign beings and all of us have been splintered and fragmented in different ways and are coming into these um, times of opportunity where we can um, really get stable and balanced and organized in the new earth energy, which he's so delighted. He's, he's just saying, I knew it was coming. We've always known. And he says, um, in energy, um, so in the higher realms, in the heavens, they are saying that it's already been done. Like humanity has moved forward so much. And so we know that love and harmony and um, safety and comfort and freedom for all people um, is imminent. And they're saying, but this is right now, it's like the spiritual war. So remember to balance. If you have to do it a thousand times a day or organize your mind, um, um, uh, continue to do so. You're all doing so well. And you all, all of you, all of the people in the world, in some ways, even though we are not famous, um, our family lines are not famous. Um, he says all of us have also been cursed or oppressed or suppressed by the darkness. <laughs> and and um, some of us were targeted. I do not consent. Hmm. Um, and seen a whole lot more than we can even speak about sometimes. And he says, expect miracles, expect the good. Um, because as we are in spirit, in energy, in these energy layers, unwinding some of the dark matrix or the lower programming um, for each person that is allowing it to happen. And so they're saying, um, and it's just naturally, in all ways, consciousness-wise, energy-wise, um, in our lives, lifting us up. Even though if like some of us, like I, my business is much slower. I can't see people in person. Haven't been able to do the, my spiritual hypnosis and all that kind of stuff. So I don't have as much money as I did last year at this time. And he says, um, it's a good time to remember what you truly want and um, dream big, which is so cool. Cause that's been happening for me in the last week. I mean, I clicked and clicked and clicked and clicked and have just seen just vision after vision of um, what I truly want, which has always been kind of simple to other people. Um, but it's really strong now. So I am hoping that for all of you, um, if there's something like awakening in you, like your creativity and passions, and if you want a home, if you want family, if you want true love, if you want um, to somehow change your job or direction or city or career, 
Um, I hope you feel it inside and know that you will be divinely directed. And it is time for dreams to come true. As many of us have um, worked really hard and had everything just knocked down. And he says that was in the big program. So some of us um, have different purposes and missions and and with the light hitting the earth, the, the um, solar activity, the light hitting the earth, um, all of us, it's almost like breaking free some of those old programs that we didn't realize we had to the beginning of time and back. And he says, so just remember <clears throat> to sort of keep asking to um, whatever words that you use is right. Whatever perspective you have is right um, as well. So um, keep asking to be aligned in, in divine order in your perfect um, highest good timeline. Um, I think Magenta Pixie calls it the paradise timeline. Um, and um, we can all unite and come together. And he says, simple, it's going to be, we're going to realize um, that we didn't need to push as hard. Push, push, push. And he says, um, so welcome in this new wave and part of this um, event of awakening with um, open arms and a lot of colorful, it's almost like rainbow energy. Um, and he's mentioning that would be chakra energy as well as um, planetary pieces of, of the earth have um, different auric energy fields. He says everything gets to be near, everything will be shuffled around, shuffled around and keep dreaming big. And he says, so in a way, my family was cursed and so was yours. He said some worse than others and um, we have different purposes. And um, if you can remember to be grateful and thankful um, for being here. And even if you had to go through karmic things or really atrocious things, he's pointing at me like atrocity. He's pointing at me and saying, I understand. And so um, the heavens understand the things that you've been through, the losses the pain and the suffering and they want to hold you. And Mother Mary is saying again, she's like holding, holding out her arms and her hands with the um, just never ending flow of pure divine love. And for all the science minds, she's saying it does not matter um, what religion or um, belief system you have. Um, it all comes down to a certain type of energy and she says there will be new healing modalities where we many of us know about some of them and new energetic things that will help heal the earth and make it simpler for all. And um, President Kennedy is saying, yes, there will be some debt forgiveness, but it will not just all be in one day. Yes, the powers that control things. Um, are crumbling and falling apart and um, it will not come in one day where poof every bad thing or bad person or bad intention is gone but there's a big sweep going on and um, he says he says as you know many of the darker unseen energies have been swept away over the last years as well um, and not allowed to be uh, around us as much he says and the Energy veil is thinning, and remember, he says, Jesus says, you will do greater things than I. And so he says, that's your divine magic. And I'm saying to him, lots of people have been asking me about magic lately. And he says, yeah, you can do a video on it. Okay, then. I mean, it's our divine right to be magical and connected to source and um, in the highest good, always in the highest good. And Mother Mary's holding this just never ending cup of unconditional love for all of us. And they're saying, we will find out some more things. And the cool part about this is it's not about the yucky part of the message, the darkness, it's about the light, it's about the love. And so remember, you can ask at any time, anywhere to be nudged or helped into the law of love. Um, and I did a, 
an energy healing breath work this morning with a delightful lady. I love her. Her name is Kathleen Booker, and she's the Jedi of Calm. Um, she has a web page. I'll put it on the, the YouTube video. Um, really amazing. And she, in the meditation and the breath work of the clearing and the healing that she does, um, she said a couple of times, she said, just um, stand in on top of, in the law of love. And um, it's a little while since I've heard that term or used that term. Um, but I'm just inviting all of us to go ahead and say, I am that I am. I am a sovereign being. And I take back all of my rights and any attachments or um, suffering or darkness of any kind. Um, losses, grief, pain, imbalances um, of any kind. Any targeting of any kind any hinky schniz that's been really icky, anything that blinded us, um, we ask to be um, just released and cleared into the light of God. And um, we, we stand, we stand in the law of one and do not consent to anything except pure divine love within. Um, President Kennedy is um, saying, I will come again for other um Channeling, I just wanted to come real quick and say, um, look, open up your eyes. And they're saying there's um, kind of an opening coming up. I know many of us in the United States are um, going, getting to go back to work or go back um, to stores and things like that that we haven't been lately. Um, so um, that's exciting. And he's saying, make the best of it and um, remember... Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kennedy. Remember, um, the darkness, number one, the darkness, number one um, tool is manipulation. And the number two part is separation and try to get people to go against each other, judge each other, push each other out. Um um, and try to convince them, like try to convince each other that they are lesser. And he says, remember, you do not consent. We do not consent. And um, just keep an eye out for that. I think we all have much better discernment than we used to. And um, some of those old programs that we've all gone through, um, be it karmic stuff or balancing or our, some of our soul purposes, our shadow work, um, we're coming into a new phase, a new stage, and it's uh, much lighter. So go ahead and uh, remember to think in unity, harmony, um, the law of one, the law of love um, terms, and um, come together. Um, come together. And know you are safe. You're safer than you've ever been. Dream big. He says dream big. He says, I knew it was coming. I knew it would. He said, there are more waves. There are more pieces of this awakening. But this was the big one that we'd all been waiting for. Heaven on earth is here. Um, walk into it. Be it. Be heaven on earth. Mother Mary is saying, just drink the unconditional.